Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense, and I try to keep it down in the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, it's something very, very, very important. It's not important to liberals, libertards, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like ayahuasca, people like DMT. Now, I know you motherfuckers want to watch my videos sometimes, but and you'll bypass my disclaimer. But of course, Listener's discretion is advised. If you're a sensitive stick in the mud, if you don't understand what common sense is, which most of you don't have, then of course you shouldn't watch my videos. There's a lot of you motherfuckers out there. Why well, I gotta be a motherfucker? Because, you know, most of you guys have fucked the mothers, the single mothers. You have simped. You can change. You can change. Jesus Christ, it's not impossible. So my next video is going to be about our alpha selfish. But this video is going to be about why are we here in this world? Okay. Now, I want to make something very clear who I am. Please read my description down below. All right? Please read my description of who I am down below before you run amok because you have to know someone before you actually talk. If I sound goofy to you, that means you are a biased person because you don't know my character. You don't know anything about me. If I sound kind of violent or some shit or even delusional, okay, you don't know me. This makes a problem for most people because you are children and you don't ask the correct questions in order to understand me. Okay? I am the realest, the realest motherfucking alpha on the internet, as a matter of fact. Okay? It's just those, those little beta males will copy and pick and pick and choose what they want, change little things up. But anyway, let's talk about something here. Why are we here? I'm going to tell you the reason why here. And I'm, I'm going to tell you like it, it's real hardcore. Now, I know for a fact that you guys, some of you guys won't accept it, okay, but most of you guys don't hear a raison d'etre voice talking to you externally. You just don't. You just don't. And I want to make something very clear. Those who do not hear a voice, you should not trust them. They're relying completely on science or things that they can see. Hyperionism, okay, just like Morgan Fishwell. I'm like, no, that's just one construct of science. But you can never understand all forms of dimension, times, and space. Math does not always work in every time, dimensions, and space. You do not understand why you're here, and you do not know, and you cannot prove it either. But I'm gonna tell you the real reasons why you're here in this world. The first real reason is is to recognize experience. You are here to learn, to experience to suffer, to understand what everything is about in this film, this, this form of body. We are in a form of avatar, okay? We are here to learn and we're, we're food, as a matter of fact. We are anything and everything you think we can possibly be, okay? Which that may sound impossible, but we're in this body um, avatar construct. So you really cannot understand what dimension we're in. Only a physical construct right now. Three-dimensional construct. But let me tell you this. This is a fact, though. This is a fact because there's people who believe that they're actually here because they came here. <clears throat> there's people. If you want to believe that, you can. Everything is a hypothesis, okay? All right? An educated guess. All right? And it's though you have to make sure it's a theory. You can use an educated guess on top of a theory. That's why it's better to be agnostic rather than any other type of, uh, you know, click, okay? Because you want to be skeptical about everything because you can't say something like Socrates said it best. Okay? Of course, Socrates is the only one who actually was claimed to say he was the wisest philosopher because he asked questions. No one knows nothing. Unless they're talking about something hypothetical. I know, okay, that one plus one written right now is equal to two. You're talking hypothetical. All right, you understand how that works? You understand? We're all food. If you want to believe that we are captured here, remember in your state of mind, you may think that we're captured. And that may be true. But if you do, you have evidence for that? Do you have evidence that we've been captured? Now, you may tra have traveled across the world and you may see little bits and pieces of evidence. But how do you know that those bits and pieces of evidence weren't put there for your entertainment purposes? You just don't know. So, Socrates have it hands down. He's my favorite philosopher right next to Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Heraclitus. Okay, because water is fire and fire is water. Okay. And if you think on a scientific term, you're basically limiting yourself, okay? You cannot think outside the box. 
when everything makes sense to you, you become an arrogant prick. This is not what this life is about, peoples. When you hear someone being very articulate and they're not simplifying things, then they're only using their own raison d'etre to feed off of you. To make sure they get something from you, okay? And they, and of course, they will be very successful. Remember this key element here. If someone needs to read something from somewhere else, they are not reliable source. It's not a reliable source, all right? It's not a reliable source. Now, I know you may think that doing things anecdotally is better. I think that's the best bet because what you read evolves over time. That's not what this life is about. It's just to learn something and it's done. Kaput. There's no other way around it, okay? That's impossible, okay? And how do you know? You don't know until you experiment. You don't know until you experiment. Now, I keep hearing these scholars saying mathematics is a universal language of the law. That is false. Absolutely false. You cannot construct everything in a mathematical sequence or pattern or frequency. You cannot do it, all right? And how do I know this? Is because I was told this. And it makes more sense to say, I was told this from some other source rather than some sort of human source. Someone that's out of body. But how do you know if I'm delusional? You don't know. And I don't know if I'm actually 100% accurate myself. We all we could all be in a dream state. That's like when I read, uh, read uh, um, what do you call it, uh, Chihulus, okay? And, 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 and Lois Crowley type shit. I, I read all that type of shit, man. I, you know, I'm getting older, so I may have some brain farts, but I know what I'm talking about here. Trust me, when someone thinks that they know what they're talking about, find another way, okay? Because that's not what this life is about. As soon as you find a way, you're done. All right? So, um, other than that, that's really all I wanted to say. I've told you the real reason why we're here. We're, yeah, you're fooled. As a matter of fact, I've told, I make a video about this. I know what I'm going to be. I say, I know, I know thyself. Because most of you don't know yourself. You're all food, Kate Carter, to me. You're food to me. Most of you are food. Okay? I have not met too many elitists in this world so far. But when I do find someone who's come close to it, then they're my friend. Okay? But I don't really have any friends right now. I have some associate friends. But trust me on this. There's not a lot of elites out there. And then there's those people who believe themselves as indigo child. And when I have a, you don't, ha you don't have arguments with indigo children, okay? You don't have arguments with them. You basically agree with them because they are usually right. And how do they know they have the answer? Because it's all what? Agnostic knowledge. Now, if you are agnostic and you do have secret knowledge, okay, and you are part of the gnosis, like myself, okay, you don't have to worry about all this imagery and all this other shit. You don't have to worry about being accepted through validation or anything like that. You just know that you're right, okay, through theory, okay, hypothetically, guesses, okay, you know, just keep it simple. Keep it simple, guys. There are people out there who want to say, okay, we found, we found the Garden of Eden, and then next thing you know, you really have found the place where you can enter the sun, okay? That is hell, okay? But you don't know that because you ain't did the anecdotal research you got damn self. So thank you very much, my brothers and sisters, for listening to my video. You know I'm fucking right. And if you want to debate this, this fact and you don't hear a voice compared to what I'm saying, okay, then we can talk about it. If you think I'm crazy, you shouldn't be watching my videos in the first place. What did I fucking tell you? So the next video I'm going to have to talk about is because um, I just had a dream about it, vision about it. Talk to the people about what our alpha is. Our alpha is fucking selfish. All right, I'll break it down in the next video. If you find it, you find it. If you don't, you don't. The universe has brought you to me if you got this far. It's nine minutes. Think about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of fakesters out there. Other than that, I hope you understand the gist of what I'm saying. All right. Okay, I'm out of here. Peace.